So Spitfire just uh, released this um, this latest collaboration with Eric Whitaker, and if you're into voices, uh, this is the um, this is absolutely the one to get. Um, and you've you've definitely got to check out Eric's uh, walkthrough. Um, just the joy and the he gets so giddy. I guess the passion and the love that he has for what he's doing. You think I get joyful, um, Eric gets very joyful and it's just so evident and genuine and that's what uh, I think makes uh, his project so beautiful because he's just uh, pushing the boundaries of things. So let's, uh, let's just pull this up. <laughs> and like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen, but you know, that's what's, the, that's what's so fun around here. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So you've got three modes with this uh, with this player. You've got the standard, then you've got the synth mode, and then you have the Evo grids. And so you, you're getting like three different uh, three different uh, treatments of this instrument in one. But let's just go through the standard, um, and you've got the the sections, the two D sections, all the alto, uh, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. You've got all of these um, going here. Yeah. And then you've got them broken down into the individual sections. So let's just go, let's just start with the prisms and see what. Uh now these are going, uh, the, the voices are moving from the root to the minor, um, minor second. So here we go. So let me just hold one note. <laughs> and you hear them. And that move just puts a little, little something, something on top of there. Those pitch moves, yeah, it's, it is. It's like it's oscillating. It's just like it's alive and just this organic sound. So this is the um, major second prism. You know, David, I don't think it is, but let's um, let's just see. I've got my tempo set at 90. Let's go to 200. No, so it's not uh, it's not tempo synced. So and then we've got for each one of these, we've got the different mic positions, of course. We've got the big. Now listen, that's. So that's the big mix. And let's go to another um, prism, the fourth. Now these are light. So these are light. And then you've got underneath, you've got the dark. Uh, prisms, but this is the uh, the light to start with. Ooh, I like I like that move. Yeah. So let's go to the close mix. Let's go to the close mix and listen to that. I'll turn off the big mix. That's wild. 
Yeah, and so Justin, yeah, thank you. So it has the same um, same mic selections as in the other Eric or, er, Eric or Whitaker, Eric Whitaker choir, just to keep everything consistent. So you can mix the two together. If you have the original, this is a very nice compliment for that. And this is the close. So you can get a real intimate. I like that perfect fourth move. And let's go to the seventh. We'll just kind of hit a few of these. And then when you, you hear them staggered, Let's just hold a, hold the single note down and listen. Oh, this is perfect fifth. Okay. And we go to the dark. Let's do the tritone. And then we'll hold a chord. And that gets kind of crazy. So you've got um, the dark minor second. It's just got a different feel. And I think I still have the close mix. Let's go back to the big mix. Yeah, so there's just very interesting tones. Uh, this is all the prisms. Um, let's see. We've got some shorts. <laughs> These are shorts. just um, sparks your imagination. Uh, so this is mist chimes and smoke chimes. A little darker. dynamic layers and then eh marcato oh Beautiful. Um, okay, so we've got, uh, wow, Divi Convergences. Let's check that out. He's just, he's just doing, it, they've just let him kind of go crazy, I guess. With different vocal techniques and just experimenting with things. And now it's, this is going to, um, yeah, you, 
you hear how it kind of, let's do that again. And it resolves, that's pretty cool. This is not your regular choir library stuff. Not, not in a, not in a million years. <laughs> so now, okay. So I think I know what's going on. So now we're going to start um, with everything kind of where it needs to be, and then it's going to diverge. It's going to go. It's going to go nuts. Let's go to A. Yeah. No, watch. It's going to. So it starts and it breaks. It goes crazy, and then you've got the one where it goes crazy and then it kind of resolves um okay let's do the uh dark convergence close and then it breaks it goes crazy and now let's do the other do the opposite so it starts in chaos and it ends in a uh, resolution is crazy beautiful um okay and we've got swells short short swells and medium and these are not tempo synced i would and then dark Quitter contrast, where you are the conductor. <laughs> I mean, you hear those uh, voices surround, and these are the uh, medium dark swells. And these are not uh, envelope generated, they're performed swells, so they're more natural. goodness beautiful beautiful okay that is rich it is rich uh case so let's go to the evil grid before we touch on the synth now the evil grid allows you to um yeah it does not necessarily include phrasings and that type of thing it's mainly for texture uh textures and and um i guess these um it's it's like what Steph said. It's not your typical choir library. It's more of um, a special effect type of library, um, and these evos are just uh, you know these are evolving um, evolving textures that are spread across the keyboard. And let's see what we can do here. Different, different presets are assigned to different key ranges so you can stack these things and they just evolve. are textures yeah it's the uh it's just like the name so contrast so con this is in contrast to the first uh, eric whitaker library exactly so yeah this expands on textures and um it just uh you know yeah <laughs> And 
and let's uh, let's hit the randomize, the feeling lucky, because uh, this will this will kind of give us some. And watch the um, yeah, watch the Evo grid here. Okay, oh, okay. So I can hit feeling lucky, and it'll you see it'll kind of randomize. Let's see, if we can let you see what's going on there. Yeah, so every time I hit feeling lucky, it's going to randomize everything on the grid. I can just randomize the dark prism section. Let's see, get to that. Or the light, the light prism. So it's divided up into light prisms, dark, light textures, and dark textures. And you can assign them across the, uh, across the key range. Let's do dark textures. So this is just going to randomize the dark textures only. So this gives you a bigger palette of um, different uh, different combinations of these textures. Let's just do the 2D Evos. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So that's a little Evo grid and the synth is where they just they just kind of take this to a whole different level. And let's drop this down. And we've got uh, different uh, different artists outside of the Spitfire team that have contributed. Uh, so and these are highlighted. So Clark, um, and this is called Afters. So like one sixty five BPM. So this does have a BPM. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, and so they're using the EDNA synth engine. And you're sweeping back and forth between the A source and the B source with the uh, oscillator here. This, this just takes it outside. Uh, dry and hopeful minor seconds. So it's using all of the synth engines, the filters and effects here, the granular synthesis engines. And let's see, we've got some categories here. We can go to complex. And then that'll filter through some of these um, Leggettis. <laughs> it's like a tape machine just, just winding down. Yeah. And let's see. Let's go to another one of their... Uh, I, I think we needed this... Uh, this RoboCop, um, yeah, this is RoboCop alert. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, I, I love doing this, but it's just like, there's so much that's going on. There's so much going on on this side of the camera <laughs> that, uh, that you don't see, and it can get kind of dicey here. Okay, okay, this thing kind of looks interesting. Portal, portal in your kitchen. We'll just look at one more and... But you can see and hear that this, this is just such a specialized uh, library, choral library. It's a choral library, but not a choral library at the same time, if you know what I mean, because you, you take it so much further into so many different crazy directions um, 
because it will add that contrast. And so um, I want to thank Spitfire as well for just uh, continuing to support the channel.